So, yun. Let's go to your last topic para sa midterms. Actual comprehension and bending. Tapos, meron pang isa. Actual tension and bending. So, ito muna yung topic natin. Actual compression and bending muna yung pag-usapan natin ngayon. So, ito yung steps or yung mga formulas na kailangan gamitin. So, this when FA over FA. So, FA over allowable FA is less than or equal to 0.15. Pag yan yung nangyari, ito yung formula na nagagamitin mo. If ever, FA over allowable FA is greater than 0.15, itong dalawa yung formula mo. If ever, dahil dalawa yan, ang gagawin mo is solve mo pareho. Tapos, if makuha mo is greater, yung greater, yung mas malaki, I mean, yung mas malaki na value dito sa dalawang to, yun yung gagamitin mo sa problem. Yun yung magiging sagot. Bali ganun. So, where F prime E is equal to 12 pi square over E, 23 KL over R square. Where F A is compressive stress or actual stress uh, with a formula P over A. Uh, F P is equal to bending stress. L B is unsupported length about the axis of bending. And R B is the radius of gyration about the axis of bending. So, yan. Next, sideways not prevented. Yung C, yung CM dyan. So, ito yung ilalagay yung CM, value ng CM, if sideways not prevented. If ever sideways prevented, meron tayong two cases. So, unang case, for members subject to transverse, transverse loading between their supports. If may mga loadings in between their supports, ito yung ano, magiging CM mo. CM is equal to 0.85 for members whose so NR strains against rotation in the plane of bending. CM is equal to 1 naman for members whose so ends are unrestrained against rotation in the plane of bending. So, after that, uh, kapag case 2 naman ito, for members not subjected naman to transverse loading, ito yung magiging formula mo. CM is equal to 0.6 minus 0.4 M1 over M2. Same drill sa M1 over M2 dun sa last topic natin. Kapag magkaiba sila ng uh, direction, magiging negative yung sign. So, if ever same direction sila, positive yung sign. Nan. So, let's proceed to example. Example number one. A steel column carries an actual load of 800 kN. A moment of 70 kN at kN meter at the top and moment 49 kN meter at the bottom. The two moments are in opposite direction. Ayan. And apply the bow dx axis. The steel section has the following properties. So, yan ang properties niya. Ayan, pasahin nila lang. May given na A, S, X, L, F, Y, R, X, and R, Y, K, at E. So, ito yung hinanap. Number one, compressive stress if actual load only existed. Letter, and number two, bending stress if bending moment alone existed. Number three, allowable compressive stress. And number four, from the interaction formula, compute the interaction value. So, assume the column is braced against joint transition. So, against. And it is sideways prevented. Meaning, doon tayo sa, ang oh, na lang yan. Uh, punta, punta muna tayo sa compressive stress if actual load only existed sa number 1. So, ang formula ng, ng compressive stress is P over A. Uh, dahil actual load lang ang ano, ang ang parang condition sa number 1, actual load lang yung nag-exist. So, itong 800 kN lang yung consider mo. So, 800 gawin mong Newton lang, kaya times 1,000 all over A which is 13,000. Final answer, 61.54. Yan ang sagot sa number 1 agad. Next, number 2, bending stress. Ah, may formula ulit ng bending stress. Hindi ba FP is equal to MC over I? So, yun yung gagamitin natin. MC over I or equal to M over SX. Kasi walang, wala tang given na sa MC over I. Ang given kasi is SX at M lang. So, kapag hindi din naman dalawang moment na binigay sa atin, ang gagamitin mo dyan? May, ang gagamitin mo dyan is yung higher value. 70 kN meter. 70 times 10 raised to 6 converted to Newton millimeter over SX na 1,200 times 10 raised to 3. Final answer, 58.33. So, ganyan lang kadali yung number 1 and 2. 
Alang, alalahan niyo lang, compressive stress is P over A, bending stress is MC over I or M over SX. After that, allowable compressive stress, ito is kakatapos lang natin pag-aralan last week, allowable compressive stress. Ano yung unang gagawin? Hanapin niyo yung slenderness ratio, KL over R, about x-axis and y-axis. So, meron na tayong given Rx. So, sasalpak lang natin siya, KL over Rx, K is 1. L is 3.6 times 1,000 to make it millimeter over 109 millimeter Rx, 33.03. After that, kunin nyo rin yung KL over RY. 1 times 3.6 multiplied by 1,000 to make it uh, millimeter over RY na 94, 30.30. After that, anong kukunin ulit? CC. CC is equal to 2 pi square E over FY square root kabuan. 2 pi square is equal to E may given 200,000 and FY is also given 248 is equal to 126.17 after that get the higher value of KL over R which is 38.30 and uh, compare it to CC if it is greater than or less than to me uh, to know if it is a short short or long so yan so KL over R 38.30 is less than CC Meaning, it is a short one. So, dahil dyan, gagamitin natin yung formula na to. Pagkuha ng Fs, tapos proceed tayo sa pagkuha ng Fa. So, Fs is equal to 5 over 3 plus 3 over 8. KL over R over CC minus 1 over 8. KL over R CC cube is equal to 1.777. Hindi ko na sinulat yung KL over R kasi andyan naman na yun. 38.30 yung ilalagay mo dito. Tapos yung CC is 126.17. After, after kunin ng Fs, Proceed to the formula for solving allowable compressive stress, which is Fa is equal to 1 minus K over R square minus 2CC square times Fy over Fs. So, yan. O, oh, yan. Salpak mo lahat ng given. KL over R is 38.30. CC is 126.17. Fy is 248. And Fs is 1.77. Uh, and your final answer for allowable compressive stress will be 133. 0.13 MPA. So, yan na yung sagot sa number 3. So, dahil dyan, kapunta na tayo sa number 4. Interaction value ang hinahanap. Magamit ang interaction formula. So, yun yung topic ngayon. So, dahil dyan, uh, ano ba yung first part? Di ba alamin kung si FA over over allowable FA is greater than or less than 0.15. May value ka ng FA na compressive stress. Ito, 61.54. At yung kakasolve uh, mong value ng allowable compressive stress na 138.13. Salpak mo doon. Tapos alamin mo yung value, 0.46. Alamin mo kung greater than or equal to 0.15. And dahil greater than siya, ito yung gagamitin mong formula. At dahil dyan, bago natin alamin yan, alamin mo natin yung value ng CM dahil walang given na CM. And then, my situation dyan na sinabing columns is braced against joint translation and sideways prevented, not subjected, meaning not subjected to transverse loading yan. So, ano nga ba ulit yung sinabi doon? Kapag not subjected to trans transverse loading, use this formula. CM is equal to 0 0.6 minus 0 0.4 M1 over M2. So, yan yung kagamitin natin. So, let's go back. Yan. Oh, ayaw pa kita. Ayan. CM is equal to 0 0.6 minus 0 0.4. M1 over M2. M1 and M2 are in opposite direction. Kaya negative. So, negative 49 over 70. At ang M1 is smaller. M2 is bigger. ba? Yun yun. So, CM is equal to 0 0.88. And after that, you can proceed now to the formula. Ito. Ayan. Ah, hindi pa pala. Tama nga pala. Yung FEX pa. So, dun sa FEX, kung papansin ninyo. Yan. So, eh. So, kung papansin ninyo, ang nilagay lang na ano dito is yung 33.03. Bakit? Kasi along X lang. Ayan. Kung papansin ninyo rin dito. About the X axis lang yung hinahanap. About the X axis lang yung problem. Meaning, ang kinahanapan mo dito yung CM mo. CMX yan. 
uh, matik naman kasi kapag kumukuha ka sa design mga kinukuha mong ganito matik na about x-axis kadalasan so meaning uh, yung mga kumari ito fb x yan is equal to mx c over i ito rin kaya nga sx yan kapag ano kukunin mo yung fb y meaning dapat meron kang value ng sy mga ganyan so dahil sx lang talaga siya ito yun lang yun lang yung gagamitin mo so uh, e is 200,000 let's go back e is 200,000 at ang gagamitin mong KL over R is yung KL over R about X axis, which is 33.03. Huwag mong gagamitin ito. Kasi yung inanapan natin is about X axis. So, 943.99. After that, let's solve for that equation, for that formula. So, FA over allowable FA is equal to 0.46. Tapos, salpak mo lahat. Si MX is 0.88. FBX is 50.33. Ito. 1 minus FA, uh, compressive stress, is 61.54 over 943.99 times 148. Ano yung 148 ulit? Yung FBX. Plus, ito. So, kung dito, kung papansin ninyo, wala kang about y-axis. So, this will be equal to 0. Kaya, wag na natin sulat. Yan. Simplifying, 0.83 is less than or equal to 1.0. That is acceptable. Kaso, check pa natin kung sino mas malaki sa kanila nito sa so, formula to naman. FA over 0.6 FY. So, 61.54 over 0.6. 248. Type graphical error, ma, uh, 248 lang yan. Plus, 58.33 over FBX na 148. The answer, yan, cancel ulit yan dahil wala naman tayong sa y-axis. The answer is 0.81. Acceptable din, pero choose greater value. So, the answer in number 4 will be 0.83. So, that is your final answer. So, yan. Ayan, sana nagets gets yung actual compression and bending. So, uh, doon sa susunod topic, Actual tension, man. That's it. Ayan. So, bye muna.